Welcome. In front of me is a Microsoft Surface Go and today I wanted to show you a couple neat, I guess, tricks that I can do on this. Uh, primarily to do with the touch gestures, so trackpad and also the uh, touch screen. So to get started, there is a thing that probably majority of people don't know. Um, now, before I actually get started, I will mention that most of them are really similar and basically feel kind of plagiarized from Apple. Uh, what they did on their like uh, MacBooks and stuff like that. So first thing that, that feels super plagiarized, uh, but it's useful uh, would be the multiple desktops. Now it is a Windows device, uh, which allows you to kind of well, just get rid of applications of them open and just minimize them and do all that stuff. But what you can do is, for instance, let me just open something up. Let's open another one. So as you can see, I have two windows open right now. And there is two different ways you can go about this gesture. So number one would be with three fingers on a trackpad. Let's swipe up. Yep, there we go. Swipe up, brings this up. That's one way. Or using the touch screen, you just swipe from the side. There we go. And it does the same thing. So it just really depend on, depends on what you want to use. But from here, you can see that I already have two desktops in a way. So two pages. You can also add another one if you want to. There's no actual limit to those. So you can have multiple. And as you can see, this, for instance, the first desktop has uh, these two windows. If I go to a second desktop, it's completely clean. Now you don't actually have to go every time to well, this thing right here. What you can do is quickly using, I believe, four fingers just swipe between them so simply allows you to switch between and each different desktop ha can have opened different apps and you can quickly just switch between them one thing that i uh, was doing once um way back was if you're using a virtual machine you can make the virtual machine run full screen on one of the desktops and just quickly swipe between the virtual machine and uh, for instance like windows so as an example you could be running on one desktop a linux and then you swipe over and you have windows on the other one which is just super seamless and really nice and handy in my opinion so that's one thing that you can do uh, now moving on to the next one um, let's see what we had there um, there is a quick search which i believe it was using three fingers you just click it opens up uh, the search so you can start typing in here what you want to search for uh, now maybe not necessarily the most handy uh, gesture but still one nonetheless so just as an example because i'm saying it's not handy because you can just press the windows key and have literally the same exact uh, usability of it so press this and then type same thing so it just really depends on what you want to uh, use and let's see doesn't seem to work as a touch gesture on the screen. Now, another thing that you can do is uh, quickly access your toggles. So you don't actually have to scroll over here and tap on it. You just simply swipe it away like so, have access to all of them, to your notifications and all that stuff from here. Add a, just a quick swipe away. Now, I believe there is no gesture for this on the trackpad. So this is only the uh, screen gesture. And additionally, you have a quick hide of all the applications if you want to clear your desktop by, as you've seen, just swiping down. And if you swipe up with four fingers, it brings up everything back up. And again, not what I wanted. There we go. So, for instance, like right here, even though technically uh, this is open, it's open on a different desktop. So as you can see, it won't really affect it here. Uh, so you do have to use this on the correct screen where you have actual windows open. Now, there's probably many more different shortcuts which I haven't really gone into, haven't really experienced myself. I've been using this only for like a couple days. And primarily most of those I did pull out kind of out of just, um, out of habit from using a uh, MacBook. So, if you find some other ones which you'd like to share, do write it in a comment. Um, but anyway, this will, I guess, conclude the functionality of the 
gestures or multi-touch, however you want to classify this. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.